hi folks. Well, that's us at Lochin U Lochin and Uain. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Otherwise known as the Green Lochin. Up here in the Abernethy Forest. So the guys are just chilling. All of them it's their, their first visit here. And it's just an amazing place to be. So this is day two of the Mayfield Road hashtag go wild camping trip. And after we've been here we're gonna to head to the Osprey Centre at Loch Garten. So the Green Loch and yeah they sometimes call it the Fairy Loch. Folklore state there's fairies live in these banks. It's absolutely beautiful. I can take you down onto the bank of the loch without falling flat on my face. Would be a bonus. We've, we've just actually come up past the, the reindeer centre, which is where we're gonna we're gonna visit that tomorrow. I'm trying to think of a better way to actually get down here. So if you can actually see the the green hue of the loch. And supposedly it is algae within the loch that cause it to glow this green colour. This, albeit small, is one of my, well, this is my favourite loch in Scotland. I don't know if we can get round here to this little bay here. The last time I was here there were people camping. Imagine waking up. Waking up to this in the morning. Last time I came here, I came here with Fourth Valley Recovery Campers. We had a fantastic visit. We walked, we managed to walk right along the banks here that I'm walking on. But because we've had so much rain here, it seems that we won't get right along the banks. So I'm going to take the guys along to the far end here of the loch where they'll be able to sit and have their packed lunch. Apology for the child behind me having a hissy fit. Zach's fell down a hole. There's a guy sitting by the side of the log. Normally, it's a very quiet and serene place. We just came in and there's a lady up in the viewpoint there just sitting reading a book. Absolutely not a care in the world. I don't know if I'll be able to walk right along or not. By the looks of it, probably not. This is about my fourth or fifth visit to this this wee locking and every time I come here I see something different I'd seen a couple of red squirrels the last time I was here the time before that I'm sure I saw a pine martin albeit they're very very elusive but yeah so 
that's the green locking. So I'm going to continue making my way along here um, as far as I can go, and then I'll I'll bring you back. Cheers for now. So that's us at the far end of the loch. The loch. And look, I mean, one of the most beautiful spots in Scotland. And you've still got, I'm sorry, arseholes coming here, burning up the sides of a loch. Leaving cans, Strongbow, Budweiser bottles. Camp leader, come in please. Give me two seconds, that's the, the walkie-talkie. Roger, Roger, Princess Andy, how can I help you? No problem guys, we'll see you shortly. Roger that, over and out. Well, you heard it folks. Missing the experience, they're no missing seeing this so absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I get so disheartened with some people that they um they choose to muck up such a beautiful area. See the rain's coming on anyway, so that's probably why the lads want to stay over there. Um, didn't realise that their skin's waterproof and that they ain't going to melt. So yeah, so that's just a wee quick tour of the green locking. Loch and Ewain up here um, in the Abernethy forest. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. One of them dudes. If you don't, thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. at the Osprey Centre in a wee while. Thank you.